Good morning, folks. As we'll see shortly, things are still pretty hectic right above our heads. But 93 million miles away, things are calming down. We've got large coronal hole structures and plasma filaments, and now even the return of umbral magnetic fields. The filament south of the transequatorial coronal hole is destabilizing this morning. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we find solar flaring looking like a minimum period. But we actually have a chance to turn that ship around today with the appearance of new sunspots. They're still small for now, but that's why they play the games. Since a filament released on the eastern limb, the sunspots have been growing and that may continue. You see the bright umbral fields here north of the Earth scale icon. The solar wind speed is dropping after that shockwave impact from the 7th, but the density remains high and the magnetic storm conditions persist. This level 2 disruption has been worse in some areas than others. We see a major plasma penetration event into our atmosphere there, and we even saw the rare red auroras last night. We still have the Earth-facing coronal hole, but the magnetic storm conditions at Earth decrease quake conditions and we've been in a lull since those two New Zealand quakes. Etau crossed Japan, and Kilo is set to charge in next. Etau was a serious rainmaker that triggered floods and landslides. Evacuations were ordered, or one could imagine it might have been much worse. Jimena investigating Hawaii from afar while Linda runs up the Mexican coastline. We've got Grace in the Atlantic, taking its time trekking towards the Caribbean. Convergence line in the United States where heat rushes north to meet a cold wave from the north takes top alerts tonight. In Europe, the main lows and convergences are still mostly out to sea, but they are moving in. And down under, a convergence pulls down to New Zealand with the next one visible to the west over on the left. Website members, just a reminder that we'll still be doing Fly on the Wall every Saturday, and we will hit 100 Deeper Look episodes this year. But Deeper Look will be more sparsely published until after observing the frontier. Our first conference is in Pittsburgh, October 17th and 18th, and I'll be spending that time preparing four talks and making sure we get the videos to be able to offer those who can't attend in person. Of course, I would love to shake your hand in person as I did with about 2,000 of you in the Mobile Observatory, so if you can make it out to Pittsburgh, we'd love to see you. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.